Today, children who aren't even old enough to drive a car got to help fly a plane in Macon. Pepper Baker joins us live from Macon's downtown airport to show you how Middle Georgia State's Sky Camp is giving kids a jump start on a possible career in aviation. Lori, the kids have gone home for the day, but the instructors wanted to put a little show for us. As you can see, it's still a pretty active day here on the tarmac. Now, I'm personally afraid of flying, but these guys, they're ready for takeoff. Rockets and airplanes. Middle Georgia State's sky campers and their aviation dreams take flight, and it's already exceeded Sharif Bonner's expectations. I thought I was going to be in like a plane simulator, but then when my mom said it's, you're going to be flying a real life plane, I just, I just got scared. Now, of course, they don't actually fly the planes, but they do assist camp leaders like Danielle Schreiber and Aaron George. We kind of fly them around like we did today, uh, help them build rockets, understand the, the aerodynamics of the rockets. Uh, what weather does and how it affects aviation and not just aviation but people on the ground as well and how kind of the world moves around aviation. The first time they get in you can tell they're like a little shaky and they're like I don't want to fly first like I'm gonna sit in the back seat but the moment they get out of the plane biggest smiles I've ever seen. My feelings were like oh my gosh I'm actually flying a plane I'm I was like uh, okay so you've calmed down you can do this. Because of Sky Camp, Bonner was able to get that experience at 10 years old, which is why George became a flight instructor to give more kids that opportunity. Our less than 1% of the people in the U.S. are pilots. So exposing younger kids at an earlier age can kind of sprout that interest a little earlier than I had an opportunity to. I would love to see more women in the field, especially when we do sky camps. You see all these little girls come in and you want to try to convince them, like get comfortable with flying. A lot of these kids are, you know, middle school age, so next 10 years they can be looking at jobs. I think I could be a pilot if I can fly one of these small planes. Now today was the second day of the three-day camp. Tomorrow they'll actually head to Robbins Air Force Base for a tour and an aviation history lesson. Live in Macon, Pepper Baker, 13 WMAZ News. Oh, that camp looks like a blast. Thanks a lot, Pepper. Camp leaders said they had about 40 campers this year, ranging in age from 10 to 15. They have another camp session next week at their Eastman campus.